Um, guys, welcome guys. So, uh, this video, uh, let's talk about uh, another uh, famous integration in the complex analysis. So, uh, what we're gonna to prove is that this one. Okay, so before I start, uh, you can, uh, let's, let me just advertise my channel. So, uh, if you want to see more uh, countering integral examples, then uh, you can go to my channel and uh, I will uh, have the playlist uh, post below so you can see other uh, counter integration if you are interested and I will add more for example like this Francis integral or this uh, fa this uh, sine x divided by x or this like uh, oh, what is this or 1 over like x square or even though 1 over xn and uh, even though the other uh, famous example okay and uh, this is also not famous so example so I want to give a proof Okay, so I want to prove that when alpha is greater than 0 and less than 1, then x alpha minus 1, 1 divided by 1 plus x dx from 0 to infinity will be pi divided by sine alpha pi. Okay, so uh, let's see the proof. Okay, so the difference uh, of the previous contour example uh, is that in this example, we will need to use a so-called branch cut. Okay. Uh, so the reason is that uh, you, will, you, will, you will have this kind of function, right? So if you define f of z to be z alpha divide uh, z of minus 1, z plus 1, and this function contains this, right? So this is the exponent. So so each time if you have you have an exponent which is not an integer, then uh, you will cause a branch cut, okay? And uh, yeah, to cut in short, you only need to, the branch cut is just a line, right? So let's say it was from 0 to infinity, there is a branch cut. So the, the, the rule is that, uh, the rule is that uh, the contour and not cross branch cut. So this is the only rule you need to uh, remember, okay? Okay, so let's see. So that means uh, we can take the branch cut like this. Uh, we can take our contour like this. Okay, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, think. Yeah, so this is a small circle uh, with the radius epsilon, and then you go uh, from epsilon to r, uh, uh, which r will be infinity epsilon will grow to zero and then this is your contour okay so this contour is a uh, so this contour is uh cr have the uh, handicraft so that it, we will not pass this it will not cross this blue line okay basically the positive x axis okay so uh, by the way there's a pole here right there's a pole minus one here okay so our re our goal is that uh, we need we can use this branch cut to find the uh, answer Okay, so uh, very difficult. Uh, so let's see one, two, three, four, five. Okay, hopefully. So <laughs> there are one, two. Okay, I, 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 this is two, right? So three, four. So there are four of them. Okay, so let's see one. The first one is uh, famous, just the easy one, right? So just the answer. So x alpha minus one d one plus x dx from zero to infinity. Okay. And the second, uh, second is this arc, right? So uh, let's let me just quickly prove. If you let uh, x equals r exponent i theta, and then you take the in, take the absolute value of or your original uh, integral, then you, it's easy to see that since your x is li like this, right? So, and then you have one plus. So this is less than. Uh, oh, by the way, dx is r plus exponent uh, i theta i d theta. So if you take the absolute value, then you don't care about this uh, phase turn, right? You only care about r. So you will get r alpha. You, you will get r alpha term, right? And uh, uh, yeah, but you have one plus r, right? Something like this. And you can, uh, yeah, very easy to, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just write step by step. So this integral uh, can be written as uh, 1 plus r exponential i theta. This should be less or equal to and, uh, r d theta, right? 0 to 2 pi. Okay, so about alpha, right? But the reason is that uh, alpha is less than 1, right? So uh, the denominator is r, right? So if you take absolute value and then you make r go to infinity, then this term will go to 0, okay? So that means the uh, second turn is zero. So let's the proof is done. Just just write down second turn. 
zero. Okay. Now the third turn. Why is third turn? Okay. So this is the very crucial point. So I let me just write down a star. So the the third turn need to. Okay. So you see, your if this is x, right? Then the least term should be x equals to x times two pi i. Then you will think stupid because uh, e, e to e to a two pi is one, right? But your function f x exponential two pi i is not the same as f of x, right? Because there is an x of alpha minus one. So this turn, so this is the branch, the key of the branch cut. So for this one, uh, you should that z equals x, x, x times exponential two pi i and still plug f of z. So your f of z will be x two pi i alpha minus one alpha minus one. 1 plus x dx and then from uh, infinity to 0 so infinity to 0 which is negative infinity to 0 your original term oh by the way uh, since you have this dz right so now there will be another uh, exponential yeah exponential to uh, it's not important so you get this times exponential 2 pi i alpha minus 1 okay so this is the the third term the third term okay Okay, and uh, your the final uh yeah there are fourth term right fourth term is a small circle. Okay, so also a very good exercise that uh, you know that uh, this will approximate to epsilon alpha right because your i's your z uh, your z will be epsilon exponential i theta, right? So epsilon goes to zero, epsilon alpha goes to zero. So easy to prove that the uh, fourth terms will go to zero as uh, epsilon goes to zero. Okay, so finally, uh, so what we get is what? So what we get is 1 plus uh, our 3 will be, uh, let's see, let's write down, it will be x alpha, original term uh, we want to get, 0 to infinity dx, 1 minus exponential 2 pi i alpha minus 1. This term will equal to the residue, right? Residue 2 pi i, residue of x goes to minus 1. Uh, f of z, so z go to minus one, right? This is the cosine into uh cosine, right? Okay, so remember that uh, your f of z is uh z alpha di divided uh, minus one one plus z, right? So the residue of minus one just plug exponential pi i alpha minus one, right? This is your residue. So the answer of our our original uh, integral will be 0 to infinity x alpha minus 1 dx divided by 1 plus x equals to 2 pi i exponential uh, pi i alpha minus 1 divided by 1 minus 2 pi i alpha minus 1. Okay, so uh, yeah, so yeah, this should be the answer. Okay. Uh, Okay, so finally, the final uh, calculation is just try to show that this will give us a uh, pi divided by sine alpha pi. Okay, so let's see. So let's uh, maybe divide the list, right? So let's maybe, uh, yeah, let's see. So we can write it as a uh, 2 pi i is equal to negative pi i alpha minus 1 minus is equal to 2 pi i alpha minus 1. Uh, so you see there's an exponential i pi and exponential so this is pi sorry so you get a you get exponential minus i pi alpha exponential plus i pi right so plus i pi is negative one right so actually i can write as this okay and this one is plus it's exponential i pi alpha Okay, so this is 2 pi i, and combine these two terms, you get uh, 2 i sine pi alpha. So finally, cancel, 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 you get pi divided by sine pi alpha. Okay, so uh, this is the proof. So let me just uh, quickly uh, fulfill the idea, uh, write down, uh, explain the idea. So idea is that we choose, a there is a branch cut because uh, this f of z is z alpha minus 1 divided by z plus 1. So uh, the, you, since you have the fraction uh, fraction power, so you need to have a branch cut from zero to infinity. Uh, this blue line, and uh, each, the uh, yeah, this blue line. So each now uh, you you need to choose a contour like this. And uh, the first one is uh, just the standard uh, what we want to do, and uh, easy to prove that the second one and uh, it's basically their arc one, basically the gray circle and the small circle, uh, both uh, approach to zero when epsilon goes to zero and the arc goes to infinity. 
And uh, the final uh, this line, the final uh, the third line, uh, the idea is that uh, you need to use uh, x z equals to x, x times e to the two pi i. And the reason is that uh, there is a still there is a branch cut here, right? So so since you cannot cross the branch branch cut, so the angle will still accumulate. So you need to do that z to be x times e to the two pi i, and then put all the integration. And then put your fz dz, and easy to see that uh, this is the same as this guy times this exponential uh, two pi i alpha minus one, right? So once you have these two factors, then uh, you can write down everything and become two pi residue of this. Then uh, finally, you get zero to infinity this term x alpha minus one dx divided by one plus x equals to pi divided by sine alpha pi. Okay, and all the calculation uh, are shown in this uh, example, so you can uh, follow. See you guys in the uh, next video. Hope you guys like my uh, channel.